Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% Achievement and Trophy Guide, and this time we are getting it all in the legendarily titled Willy Morgan and the Curse of Bone Town. <laughs> now this was developed by Imaginary Lab, published by Leonardo Interactive, and is usually available for £16.74 slash $19.99, but is on sale this week for half price, which is £8.37. Always be on the lookout for future sales too. So we play as Wee Willie Morgan, eh? Who ends up going on a slight adventure to find his dad, Henry Pubic Morgan, who went missing 10 years earlier. It's a great point and click adventure, which is kind of reminiscent of the Monkey Island games in terms of dialogue and humour. Now achievements wise, there are a lot for just examining certain items, which can be confusing, but basically you press the X button on Xbox or Square on PlayStation to examine things, and A slash cross button to use items so i'll tell you in just a bit as we get going but that's basically the majority the others are story related and that's pretty much it it is an enjoyable one that can be done in around one and a half hours maybe a bit less if you can keep up with the video so with that being said then let us begin and of course as always we're going to press the a button here to start a new game eventually you can have a look at the options as well Always worth putting subtitles on. We can skip all this by pressing the A button. Any cutscenes we can skip with the A button. And all dialogue we're going to smash through by pressing the A button as well. Um, now, obviously, what you can do is literally spam the A button like hell to get through the dialogue as quick as you can. Um, but, you know, I'm trying... As is normal, I try to go at a fast slash slow pace. So I want to go at a nice pace... Pace, I suppose. I want to go at a good pace so you can keep up so you're not having to pause and then see what I do and then pause and then see what I do because god damn that gets annoying. Which there should always be commentary on a point and click adventure game. Always should be commentary. Anyway, all this bit is just dialogue for now until um, small Willy Wogan, uh, whatever his name is, gets back in his bedroom. I've looked for and I even I'll have but bone. I saw the biker. There's even some money around. Off we go. Perfect. I, or rather, to leave. I'll... Hi. I'm... So, uh, a small Willy is going to ask us about a tutorial. We're just going to say no. There's really no no need for it. I'll tell you, of course, what to do and everything. So the first thing you're going to do is have a look at the poster and then press the X button here on the poster, which is on the wardrobe wardrobe door. Now, when you press the X button to examine stuff. Willy will say, <laughs> Willy, he's going to say one thing, and then when you press the A button, he'll say a different bit of dialogue. So that is why I always say, when we go and interact with things, press the X button first, and then the A button, just in case. Anyway, grab the memo here from the other side of the cupboard door, that's all good. Um, and then uh, interact with this bottom drawer right here to open that up, and we're going to get our first part, the old peddly weddly. So, peddle yourself up. Then you can just interact with the two drawers above that as well. By the way, if you want to get your inventory up, you can just press the Y button there to get the inventory up at the bottom, and then the A button to use all that. Uh, so, uh, click the wheel now on top of the wardrobe. Uh, big Willy. Now nah, I'm going to say Tiny Willy. Uh, the, the, we, will, we, Willy Morgan, is going to grab the wheel. So that should be the memo, the pedal, and the wheel for us now. Open up the wardrobe door, and there's going to be a belt in there. Well, that's for Spank and the Monkey! <laughs> I mean, uh, no, that's just for putting around your trousers so they don't fall off, of course. Right, have a look at this book right here, and then press the A button. Press the X button and the A button there, again, just to be safe, so you're using it and examining it. You will get an achievement there, um, and then interact with the painting, again, by pressing the X button just by the door. So you should get two achievements there. The one didn't pop for me for whatever particular reason. And please ignore the obtain all achievements. Um, that one I messed up and had to do it again. Uh, so you should get two achievements, but not for obtaining all the achievements. So turn on the lamp and then just press the A button on the compass there to get a compass in. So again, make sure at the forefront of the screen you're having a look at that sort of magazine, blue magazine book. Make sure you got that achievement as well as the painting one before we head out. Then we can just head sort of up and to the right into this little area here. Uh, interact with the toolbox. For some reason, Willie's house is bendy. Uh, that's why we need to find out Dad, so he can actually fix the goddamn thing. Anyway, interacting with the toolbox gives us some tools. And then interact with the plunger as well. I think our mama done a bit of a stinker, so we need to sort that out for her. Lazy git. 
and uh, interact with the bicycle seat on the left as well, just before we go and plunge, and then get, you know, bits of poop particles covered in our face. Delicious. Right from here, interact with the door on the right of us, and now she blows, to enter the bathroom. Right, first thing we're going to do, uh, there is no toilet, oh my god. Grab the sun lotion anyway from the cabinet. Where is the toilet actually? Oh, everyone just poops in the bath apparently and then stomps those nuggets down the drain. Yeah, okay. Right then, from here then what we can do, press the Y button there to get your inventory up. Then you go to what you want. We need to get the plunger, so press the A button on the plunger. Left stick to move it over to the bath water. And then that will plunge the water. For some reason, um, you can't, he, does, he decides not to just pull the plug. Got to use a plunger for some reason. That's a, that's a strange old bath. Nice bathroom though. And then what you need to do is there's a gear cog right on the bath. Um, the only thing other than the rubber duck. So we'll grab that gear cog. Make sure to grab that. And then we can just head out. If you double tap the A button, by the way, you can actually get through places quicker instead of watching Small Willy get there. Uh, interact with the door on the left and go in to our parents' bedroom. Couple of cactuses. They look uh, very weirdly familiar. Uh, press the X button and then the A button on the mirror. Again, always just to be double... You know, just to be double checking and d double safe, but that should get us an achievement there called Illusions. Interact with the cactus. And there we go, and then what we're going to do is grab the ring. So there's three different sized cactuses in our mother's bedroom. And they've got little bits of, I don't want to know what she's doing with them, so I guess we'll... Oh, they do smell a bit funny. Probably just need a, a quick rinse. Anyway... Let's tell you how to interact with and combine two items instead of wondering what our mother's doing with three different sized cactuses. Uh, press the A button on an item you want, so in this case it's going to be the ring. And then drag it over to whatever, uh, whichever one you want, which is going to be the screwdriver. It's not going to be the screwdriver, sorry, my apologies, the compass. And then uh, Small Willy here is going to put it together, and that is how you make uh, and combine items. So pretty much just like any other game, really. Use the screwdriver on the alarm clock. So it's literally just pressing the A button and then moving it to whatever you want. That's pretty much the gist of it. We're going to leave our weird mother with her weird small and big sized cactuses alone after we grab the bicycle bell off the floor. So make sure to grab that bicycle bell off the floor. And we're going to, um, well, we're going to wash our eyes. Now what we're going to do is go back into our bedroom there, which is top left. And then we need to close the door anyway. We need to just comprehend what we've just witnessed. Uh, grab the plunger, or uh, the rubber hammer, sorry. Grab the rubber hammer from your inventory and use that with the piggy bank. This is for another achievement anyway. So, uh, <laughs> that's always funny. Wanking yourself in the head. That's always a larf. Uh, but again, let's not do that anymore, no. What we need to do is actually get the lock picking tool. There it is, so that gives us the it's worth a shot maybe achievement. So grab the lock picking tool now from your inventory, use it on the piggy bank, and that is how we're going to get some monos. Or you could literally just unplug the bottom and then, you know, tap it out like that, but there we go. So we get no money, but we do get a double gear, uh, gear cog. Use the dried up sun lotion with the switched on lamp. Again, if it's not switched on, just press the A button to turn it on. And again, remember, if you haven't, have a look at the blue magazine at the forefront of the screen if you forgot to get that achievement earlier on. Uh, use the oil now on the Dreamcatcher, and then we can just use the screwdriver. So the oil, and then the screwdriver with the Dreamcatcher, and that gives us that one. Now remember, the other two achievements in this room, pressing the X button on the painting, the poster on the wardrobe, wardrobe door, and the painting by your uh, door. So now we can head downstairs. There's three achievements that we're going to grab here. The first one, you just press the X button by the grandfather clock. That will be the first one. But what we actually do, grab these post-it notes here first. And then what you do, go into your inventory. And then just keep spamming the X button a hell of a lot on those post-it notes. So don't press the A button because they'll want you to use it on something. You just keep spamming the X button until you get the achievement. It's a common. Bookworm, there we go. So, uh, that is the two achievements done. So you can open the door, but we're going to get another two achievements in this room first. And the first thing that we're going to do is just press the X button once or twice on this pendulum here. On this grandfather clock. And then eventually... Na -na! 
Okay, there we go. We got there eventually. Old secret passages. And for the final achievement in this room, there's a small statue on the bookcase here. So just go pa uh, past the cactuses right here on the bicycle. And it's like a small headed statue. This one right here. Press the X button on that. And that is going to get you the achievement. Again, if you press the A button on it, Willie's going to say some different dialogue. But it won't be the one that gets you the achievement. So you have to press the X button to examine stuff. So, into the kitchen we go. First thing I'm going to do is have a look in the fridge. Because, god damn. Imaginary pizza. Well, no, I want a real pizza. And noodles and milk. That's, uh, and Shanghai noodles, bananas. Well, that is a uh, diarrhea diet if I ever saw one. So use the screwdrivers anyway on the screws. For some reason there is a handlebar being held up by screws in the fridge. Why? I do not know. How? I do not know why. Uh, grab the handlebar anyway, and then over to the left there is how you escape the fridge. Another two achievements we're going to grab here, and the first one is for examining by pressing the X button on the clock. And that one is that one, dear old Zack. Uh, have a look in the pot tins. It's a very cluttered kitchen. It actually gives me hella anxiety, this one. Ooh, too cluttered for me. Uh, but interact with the tins anyway, just by pressing the X bu uh, A button. And we're going to get some mother flipping monos, ho knows. Delicious. Can't beat the emergency tin money. Three dollars, but that'll do. Now just press the X button here on the microwave to get the second achievement in this room. There's a total of 35 achievements, by the way, in this game. And they do come at you quicker than a fat kid who loves a buffet. So there you go. As soon as we've interacted with the microwave, that's two achievements in that room done. Now we can basically put our bite together and get ourselves into boner town. So again, press the white button to whap open your inventory. And you just need to put it all together now. So I don't think it makes a difference what order it goes in. So you can put the bicycle seat on first. Then I put the handlebars on. And then what else do we do? Uh, the cogs, the dream catchers. Yeah, so the wheels, the pedals, the dream catcher, and the two different cogs. So, uh, just pop all them on, and that will be that, and we can pick up the bicycle and leave. I can glimpse its shape. Nearly there. Not long. Perfect. A few more parts. How professional. Nearly there. Not long to go. Nearly there. They connect perfect. So once that is done then, we're going to get the trusted mechanic achievement. We can press the A button on the bicycle to pick it up. And somehow he manages to fit this all in his tiny little fanny pack. That's what Americans call a bag, right? For some reason they call it their fanny pack. Which of course everyone else in the world knows what a fanny is. And it's not, it's, it's not a backpack or a front back. So press the A button here to skip the uh, cutscene anyway. Now we've come into Boner Town. Bone Town. Ah, it's a great little town if it weren't for all the creeps and everything. So we automatically pick up the items that we need anyway, which is the money and whatever else it is. So now we can just head up through the archway. You'll get the Pirate City achievement um, regardless. Head into the left-hand side door here. And we've got a couple of things to do in this inn. So we're going to speak to the innkeeper. In fact, no, the first thing I'm going to do is have a look at the top, just above the innkeeper, at a little Fabergé egg. It won't actually say Fabergé egg, so just keep clicking on it until you get the Fabergé egg achievement. Uh, again, so again, that is just above the innkeeper's head. So you can probably just see it, the little red one. So when you get that one, interact with him. Now, in terms of dialogue... Now, I end up, basically, what I end up doing is just going through all of the dialogue options. Because with that, um, Willy Morgan basically gets information of where to go and what to do. So, I'm not sure if you have to speak to them all or if you can just say one thing and then move on. But I just go through all the dialogue options just to be on the safe side anyway. So, we've got the information we need and that we can just crack on with story progression. Uh, anyway, so yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, but... Uh, better to be on the safe side, right? <laughs> Red. So, uh, you don't have to repeat anything. We can just say thanks and give me. Uh, grab the number room, key room 10. 
Not a very good inn. There's only three rooms. Jesus. Not good for a stag do. Although actually very good for a stag do. Uh, so a little unskippable cut is going to happen here. He's going to be like, Oi, right, Bosh! Get your balls out, mate! Yes. Okay. Shrub. So another miserable achievement we're going to grab here. We need to interact with... So basically I press the X and the A button on all the pictures and all the statues in here. So again, I'm not sure if it's examining or just using them. So just to be on the safe side, press the X and the A button on everything. So the picture there on the left, the sculpture on the... Uh, so just to the right of us. I'm not sure if the stain counts or not, but just in case... Um, uh, use it on the sculpture as well, so the two sculptures there. Then the next picture, again, just press the X and the A button. And then do the same with the next one. That's uh, Christopher Walken looking tall and big headed. And then over the next picture. And then over to the next picture, uh, like Baby Jack Jack or whatever that is from The Incredibles. <laughs> whatever that is. So again, like I said, always press the X and the A button just to be on the safe side and then use the sculpture. Do the same thing with the sculpture there and that will be the loyal customer achievement. So now we can uh, go into our inventory. Again, I'll tell you for the last time, press the Y button to wrap it up easy and then press the A button to drag it over to the door and then head inside. Another quick missable achievement we are going to grab. Um, if you have a look at the floor, press the X button on the floor, the zigzagged floor. Again, just like the Fabergé egg, it won't actually come up with anything. But once you examine it, by pressing the X button or the A button, um, sometimes I forget which. <laughs> I usually just go with the X button first to be on the safe side, but that'll get you the Black Lodge achievement. Right, so when uh, this bit's done, you can have a look at the fireplace, but what we actually need is the form on the right-hand side of the fireplace. So, yeah, even with things we've got to collect, I ended up pressing the X button to examine it. Always as a just-in-case uh, contemporary measure. So make sure to grab the aftershave here on the left-hand side desk. Or the sort of wardrobe chest of drawer type thing. So you should have the form and you should have the aftershave. Uh, you can interact with the rope, but we can't actually interact with it just yet. We have to go back and then all the way to the left and then back down the steps again. Better not go inside. I'd so when we get down here then, what you need to do, whap into your inventory again. And then we're just going to give the innkeeper the form. So drag it over. Give him the form. A little bit of dialogue again is going to happen. So like I said, through every dialogue, just smash through it and then just go through each individual option. Uh, but again, a little unskippable cutscene once more. Meow. It's the one who made... What now? Yes, but I don't. How can you? It happened. Okay. I'd say only name. Here and. Okay. Me too. With. Uh. So when someone's been in a room and basically been quite pervy, which is an arrestable offence, by the way, we can just head back up. Remember, small Willy is just a boy. Do not touch Willy. Good advice. So anyway, now what we can do then? Our door is should be still open, so we can just head straight in. And something electrical has happened. Luckily, we weren't in. Somebody tried to kill me, bruh. You should be more hurricane. Summer hurricanes localized. You can't other. I think it wouldn't be the first. But uh, forget. So how? How did you? I heard. But I didn't. Then it would. would I get. I cannot have a. I put a what? Hmm. Yes. Yes. I am ex. My <laughs> that is rude. I have all my better, but it doesn't have. I would. Unfortunately, there have been seeing the coyote and I knew if you then. Actually, it be boy. Your kindness of seeing. If you, I'll take. Thanks, my. Again, like I said, with dialogue options, just slam it through every single dialogue option, just to be on the safe side. There's only once where I will tell you exactly. Uh, which ones to do, uh, which dialogue options to take, but they won't be till the very end of the game. So for now, we're going to head back downstairs here with the innkeeper. Just talk to him once again, and just exhaust all the options once more. Have you already cleaned up? Yes. Okay, thanks. Yeah. 
like what sorry actually you didn't need to do that time what you need to do is just choose the what what's the do not disturb option and then uh, what he does then it gives us the uh, so he gives us our key back and then he gives us the do not disturb sign which of course will come in handy then what we can see is how does the room service work so basically anything in capital letters or sort of red writing that is what you need to look for because um, we've obviously seen we've asked him about the stain the fireplace and all that jazz so you don't need to worry about that um, so like like I said for the majority of the time we'll be smashing through the dialogue but you'll you'll know if you've got to speak to him again you'll know what you've sort of said to him about stains and big willy stains and stuff like that so um, anyway what we can do now from here we are going to go into our inventory put the do not disturb sign on the door which is basically like the janitor's door Let's see if I can. What? Put something on the door? Yeah, you probably can do that. Oh, he jimmied it open. Okay, well, that's clever. So, we're going to head inside. We're going to grab the wet floor tripod, which says wet floor on it. Pretty obvious. Big and yellow. And everyone ignores it. Then grab the bucket and rag. God damn, why does that smell of whiz? Who's clean? Who's mopping up with whiz? Goddamn janitors. Dr. Jan Itor, as it were. Right, go into your inventory, use the bucket with the stain, and then he's going to put the bucket just to the side of it. Then, into your inventory again, we need to use the wet floor tripod again, with the stain. And, um, that basically, for some reason... Uh, oh, sorry, we also, you have to use the aftershave there with the bucket. Not with the stain, you have to use the aftershave with the bucket. So, after doing this, it's basically going to get the innkeeper to not come past here for some reason. It's like an invisible force field barrier, which, hey, we'll take, huh? We will. So, after you put the aftershave in there, we can just head to the right. And then we have to go inside our room, which is currently locked. So, again, we'll just have to use our key, which, of course, is what we've got. Skblemo, Marge! And into the room we go. Right, so from here, what we're going to do is interact with the rope by just pressing the A button. Beep, beep, beep. And then this is where the innkeeper's like, Oh, mate, I can't get through here. It's an invisible wall. What now? <sighs> nice sauce. Better go. Agile, and I didn't even read bed at risk room. Oh, I'll go around. And that's how easy it is. So, a bit of life advice. If you don't want anyone coming near you, put a bucket with a stain near yourself and nobody will come near you then. Job done. A big, a small willy stain or a wee stain, whatever it is. So anyway, what we can do now is we can head all the way downstairs. This time the innkeeper is not going to be there, which is going to come in handy. So we can actually just grab the key to room 09. So make sure to grab that off the wall. Why is everything wonky in this game? Tuh, somebody got a wonky willy, that's why. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so go past the stain. We're going past room number eight here. And room number nine is, of course, the one in the middle. So grab the room 09 key. And then pop it in. Let's hope there won't be any other no other obstacles, love. Don't you worry. Right, another couple of achievements we're going to grab here. First thing we're going to grab is interact with the fireplace. Um, again, press the X button and then the A button. Obviously, just to be sure, once again... Because nothing is sort of set in stone in this game. That's why I always do that. Because you don't know which one you got to examine, which one you got to use. Um, you press the X button here on the uh, welcome gift, and then the A button as well. Yeah, just to be on the safe side, and that will get us the apple core achievement for finding all the apple cores in this room. The apple of your pie. So heading to the bathroom on the left, what we're going to do is actually interact with the drawer first, just underneath the sink. So pop that one open, and it's a nail file we're going to grab. And also, let's grab us another missable achievement as well. Int examine and interact with the shower. And that should get us the psycho achievement. Psycho. Because English is very fun, of course. Right, use the nail file. There should be a brick uh, somewhere, which you need to use. I think it's just underneath or just to the right of the clock. So use the nail file on the brick. And then uh, he takes a bit of... Uh, bleh, a bit of mortar... And then that gives us uh, like Henry Pubic Library Card. Henry Pubic. Henry Morgan's Library Card. Sorry, so that's our dad's library card. So now, go towards the bottom of the screen. We are out of here. And then, well, it's pretty much it. We just wait for the next day.
I think the time has come to find out what I better check the library. So, we got any willy stains about? No, that's good. Keep it in nice and clean. That's what we want in a uh, PG PG 14 type game. Or whatever. So, next morning, we're just going to head all the way downstairs. Please ignore the stains. We'll just wipe that up with uh, some socks and stuff. <laughs> right, what you need to do is give the room... In fact, no, you don't have to give the room 10 key. You can actually just leave. Uh, we're going to speak to the innkeeper, I believe, first. You can't actually give the innkeeper the key back. So, we're going to speak to him first. And again, uh, we are just going to... I don't actually think you've got to speak to him yet. I'm pretty sure that we can actually just ask him about the public library and then we can just actually head out the exit which will automatically give him the key. In fact, yes, so we have to speak to him about the library because it gives us a map. As soon as we've done that, we can say goodbye and head out the door. Thanks. <sighs> Better leave the key. There you go. So, ready to do some exploring? Let's do some exploring. So, go left, and we're into this sort of a lab library bit. Uh, interact with the posters, examine the posters, sorry. So, press the X button here with the posters just outside the library in the middle of the screen, and that should get us the achievement. Again, that is the X button to press it up. Head up. And then we're going to head straight to the right where it says museum on the sign. So sort of just to the right of us. Um, there is a jack on the left hand side which you're going to grab. Oh, jack jack! And there is the hidden treasure 02 achievement coming up. Right here, so right at the sort of bottom right of the screen. Just in between the two planks of wood. Just press the A button. Or the X and the A button, whichever one you want. And you should get the Hidden Treasure 02 achievement. There it is. So that is for, is for finding the Golden Dragon. So we can come back up and head to the right. Next, we can go through the door of the library right here. So I thought I said laboratory for some reason. So I don't know if it's just the writing or if my eyes are just going shockingly bad. Uh, so we're going to speak to the librarian. Again, it's the same thing with every new character. We are going to smash through all of the dialogue to get... All the information that uh, yeah. Tiny Willy needs. I'm Mark. Then, he but he I don't. You mean he you the point? I'm sorry. Don't worry. Ten. How do you? Kid, I bit. Un. Not a. Do you know what he? I don't. Do you know a Henry? Thanks for the. Don't. I need to. It's a what are you looking? Property. Oh, what is it? I guess. Doesn't it get the attention it deserved? Here in bone. I could never have. Where can I find? I guess it's somewhere on the upper floor. Thank you. I need to consult. It's up. What are you? Unfortunately, that's. Property. Oh, what? I guess. Doesn't it get. Here in. I could never. Where can I. I guess. Thank you. I need to con. It's up. What are you? Grog. It had. And the book. With Grog. It was. Luckily. Don't get me started. But in case. It I don't recall the ex. I'm. I do apologize, I kept accidentally pressing the A button on the same thing right there. Um, I don't actually think you needed those whole book things. Again, that was just to be uh, that was just to be on the safe side. So now we can actually head up the steps right here. It's the worst looking library I've ever seen. Um, we will come back to the crate in a minute. What we need to do is use the jack on the desk just by this voluminous book. So go into your inventory, get the jack out. And then stick him under the desk. Go on, stick your willy under the desk, under the jack. See how it goes. By the way, who calls their kids willy? Surely there's no kids called willy these days. Because that would just be hilarious. I thought it was just Scotsman because of the Simpsons. But anyway. Right, interact and examine the um, big book right here to get a letter. We can just press the A button on that to whap out a letter. And you just press the B button here. We don't need to give too much of a crap, in all honesty. And then from here, what we can do is just head back down the steps to our right. And uh, not sure if we have to totally speak to the librarian again. In fact, yeah, we do. So I just ask her, what's the old crate upstairs? And if you want to, you can ask her about other stuff as well. But I think we're just going to say thanks and goodbye. No, we're going to ask her about all the other crap as well. Hmm, okay. Thank you. Am I that? Do you? You're, I'm doing. Yeah. What can you tell? He was the one. Who, my great great. This lot after he had. Which then? And he didn't leave. And all he. There's. 
Oh no, now we're saying goodbye. So I think it's just a case of any new dialogue that comes up. Um, it's probably worth uh, doing just for some new information and stuff, as it were. Right, half an hour in, let's crack on, shall we? Little cutscene here. And we're actually wondering where we're going, we're heading back to the right. <laughs> so we're into the sort of main area of the square next to the inn. So go to the right again to come to this new area and interact with the door and go through. I think this is the town hall, I may be mistaken. But I'm not mistaken, this is actually the town hall. Kind of looks like a desolate fallout wasteland, doesn't it, of uh, town hall. So we're going to speak to Steve, who looks like that one guy of that Channel 5 uh, kids show. All good, Steve. Um, so, obviously, this is just another thing of uh, just go through all of the dialogue options. How are they? Not very well. It's becoming hard in the problem. Part? Are you still the owner? Actually, all right. I'd let you stay. Now, have you? Yes. I saw. That's one of the. It seems some people. I want. So, I'll try. And at the moment. I hope so. For bone. Hi. Hi, William. I can't show. Thanks. Do you it's always been rough, despite unfortunate the night before we said next morning is room, but that's all I know since then. Just how the bigger water I'm investing. You really I was how the bigger water I'm investing. You I was do you I wouldn't remember if dad was when he told buttons. He used sorry, sorry, it was just another couple of times where I accidentally kept pressing the A button and asking him how were things in Bone Town about six times. Just be careful with that if you can. So we need to interact with the stamps. First, uh, just press the A button, so interact with them first, and then talk to Steve again. Then you can ask him, can I borrow a stamp? Because my name's Willie for some reason. My dad decided to name me Willie. I am Willie. Man, the bullying in school must be horrendous. Hello, Willie. Uh, anyway, so now we can grab a stamp. So there we go, make sure that we've got that. Kind of looks like a Willie as well, that. Stamp Willie. Uh, you can interact with the globe if you want, but Steve does not want us touching that yet. So for now, we're just going to head back out and go to the right. And here we are then at the drugstore section. So interact, uh, examine, sorry. So press the X button here on the drugstore. And that's actually going to get us another missable achievement. Again, these achievements are very easy to miss. So I'll always tell you where they are. So you just need to examine the drugstore sign by pressing the X button. Uh, the jelly bean dispenser there, we're going to come back to later on. We don't have any money, and apparently we can't just kick it over. So head inside the drugstore. Um, interact with the candies. There's candies and there's a piece of paper that you can uh, interact with if you want. Uh, the piece of paper is just in front of the pharmacist of what we need. Um, so the, you don't have to say good morning to him. You can just be rude because, bruh, frankly, we don't have any time. So, just ask him if you've got candies, what are you working on, and can I have that piece of paper? Can I help? Hmm. Oh, but I need- It's a- But all- No problem. No, 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 you should- What would I get in- Fortune and glow- Tremendous- Alright- Very well. I figured it- Thanks. Alright. What's that piece- I honestly don't- I was go- I grabbed the- Can I see it? I- I can give it to you after- Okay. What would we get in return? A piece of paper and some candy. Okay, well, I suppose we've gone on more of an adventure for this fat, lazy douchebag. Right, make sure to grab the tools there just before the door. So don't actually go to the door yet. Make sure to grab these tools. It's like a spade and a little, um, not bucket, a, a little glass jar thing. Yes, uh, we were. So from here, what we're going to do is interact with the Bone Town door right here. Uh, it's the oh, it's the 3D printer shop. Sorry, oh, for, actually, this acts like a pub. <laughs> it's, it's what's happening. So there's the 3D printer again. That's something we'll be using a little bit later on. So you don't need to examine it or interact with it for now. With the nerd again, just um, smash through the dialogue options. I don't even think you actually have to speak to him. Mind in all fairness. You had for and maybe I. Well, if I know. How I, but I'm so, what kind, I was, I asked, and so you just, eggs, I have some serious, thank, that's right. Who's the, he's a, he can, now he, now that I, since I, since I understand. How do, ha, I, and him, oh, ha, I, of course, is, it is, you have, at for, deed, and maybe, I, well, I, goodbye, see you. 
So yeah, we've got, I believe we needed to speak to him, get some kind of information out of him anyway. But when we're done with that, we can head to the right. We're at to the blacksmith section of the map now, so head through the door. Uh, but there is no blacksmith. Let's see if there's anyone here. Anybody here? Eh, nee. There's a jet engine you can have a look at as well, if you so wish. But there is just a horse, so we're going to grab some tong to tong tong tongs. So again, they're going to come in handy. And also what we're going to grab, there is a hammer just to the right. Uh, just to the right of us. Oh, there's a matchbox as well, just by the wheels. So make sure to grab the matchbox and then grab the hammer slightly to the right of us and to the left of the horse. Mystical hammer. Who could the mystical hammer belong to, we wonder? Could it be Fat Thor? He is worthy once again. Anyway, we're going to head out and we're going to go to the right so again, just keep walking to the right, obviously pressing the A button on the floor to get there. Now we're just going to head through this door. You can interact with the armor if you want, but it makes no difference. Just a bit of dialogue, but we're going to head in through here because there is a gun that we need, and there it is. Uh, but examine the Captain America shield at the top to get the legend achievement. Again, that's pressing the X button with the Captain American shield at the top. Then we can have a look at the gun. And then what's going to happen is, well... Yeah, that's going to happen. Sorry, my- Careful, boy. I don't like- It's not wise- Thanks for the advice. This alarm is a- pr So what we're going to do is um, press the A button there on the scissors. Now, he's never seen us before. Um, we are in a completely new random place. First time in the shop. And he's letting us just um, borrow his round tip scissors. Cheers, pal. Uh, Should have used it for the back of your head, to be honest. Because if you're going to be bald on top, you might as well be bald everywhere, let's, let's face it, huh? So, interact with the armorer anyway and just smash through all the dialogue, which everyone there is. Which of there, there is not that much. There's an NR the first. How much are it's the. Why is that? It's neat without. If I saw. I understand. There might. Absolute. You could. And even as I. That's what. How it as the old. I understand. Goodbye. Goodbye. So that's that for now then, we will come back, we're going to head to the right, getting out, and then heading to the right again, so just through the archway, the top right there, to come to the music store. So again, we're going to head through the door of the music store, have a look at the sign, but there is no pine to... Uh, damn it, I ruined the rhyme, but that's okay. So we're going through the door of the music store, to be accused by a boar. Uh, but we're actually going to grab the tuning fork just to the left of Hippie Man Hipface. And another one who's bald on top and he's got hair on the back of his head. I just get rid of it all. Although it does blend in with his beard nicely, so yeah, it kind of works well. So there we go. We've grabbed the tuning fork. What we're going to do is head into the, ki uh, the curtain behind him. Now this is a slight puzzle that we need to do. Uh, so you don't... I believe you don't have to... Um, interact with or examine the piano, the triangle on the wall, and the cello. There is just one item that we are going to grab in here for the time being. And it's a bow, just underneath the cello. Hello, the bow on the cello. So yeah, make sure to grab the bow while I slowly lose my mind into descent and madness. Which I'm already there. So as long as you've got the bow, anyway, we can head back out. We're going to speak to Hippie Man right here. Hippie Steve, we'll just call him. No offense if you're called Steve and you're not a hippie. Uh, again, just slap through all the dialogue options. Nothing that you can... There's nothing specific you need to choose. No. I see. I'm can... No, wait. It's... If I do... Just the... Blood, dude. What do you... The... Every... In the back... I under... Have you ever heard of- Uh, no, it's- If I do, just that plus, dude. What do you- The ha- Everything in the back- I understand. Uh, no, it's- If I do, just plus, dude. What do The ha- Everything in the back- I understand. How could- <laughs> For the- Those- If I move- Really? Nah, the fl- I think- If I- Dude. I have- How <laughs> Those in- If I move- Really? Nah, the flies can sell all ins. I think- If I- Dude. I have- it Dude, that is one- Can you- nah, My father and that- I have no- Thanks, sir. Good. For some reason, kept asking him as he heard of Walter Fry. Okay, so with that, we're going to go to the right and then right again. We're coming up to a new section now. Grab some pebbles off the floor first. Nice little pebbles, nice, nice little pebbles, mate. Light but resistant. Just like my nips. Um, 
Uh, anyway, we're going to head to the sort of left now with the arrows pointing to go into the graveyard. And just in the middle here, we're going to go into River Tree, get the traveling container, and use it just in between these two, um, you know, zombie mummy things. Uh, um, entrances. We're going to grab the flowers, pop that in, and that is actually the quest done there for the pharmacist. So from here, we can head back to the right, and now we can head up to the up to the up. And we're at the church section. So what we can do, uh, ignore the edit there, I was just looking around for something which is not there. We're, we're actually just going to head straight in through the church door and then examine by pressing the X button on the left window, the middle window and the right hand side window. And that's going to get us yet another achievement. Been a while since we popped one, but there it is. So just examining all three glass panes right there will get us that. Use the A button there on the Polaroid on the middle bench. And then speak to Reverend Lovejoy. Good morning. I was. You're right. The dates after seen. What? Eight. Upstanding. Unbl. Yes, Father. This. Kid. My. Upsta. Unbl. Yes. Before. Curry. Yes. Yeah. Un. Unpair. Can you. My. Ups. Un. Yes. Before. Curry. Yes. Yeah. How. Program. And the latest. What if it. There. We. Rumors. Forge. Our son, I lit maybe plus life. I wish I that who is come a nothing. Can my hand up hun yes before curry yes yeah can you my up step hun yes before curry yes yeah what room and that what so we are going to use our map for the first time after you speak to Olaf Joy. He's going to go on the phone to Ned Flanders in a second and get annoyed by it. So press the X button, go into your inventory, use the X button on the Bone Town map. This is the map we've gone to most places. So where we're going to go then is to the blacksmith slash armory right there on the sort of bottom right. So we're going to head in. Of course, it just saves a lot of time walking around and stuff. And we are going to use the Polaroid from your inventory and use it on the gun. Oh yeah, baby, work it for me. Oh, I love the way you're long, hard, and bent. Oh, baby. <laughs> anyway, remember to press the X button on the Captain America shield for the legend achievement if you haven't got it, or if you accidentally missed it earlier. Otherwise, we're going to go to the drugstore slash pub, um, and then we are going to the quote-unquote pub from the Bone Town map, of course. We can use the photos now on the 3D printer to get a 3D printed gun made. Great mustache, by the way, bro. That is grande. Very well. This this rep. So get out your small bone town map. And this time we are heading back to the blacksmith and the armory. And we are going to not go through the door just yet. We're going to keep walking to the right. To the right, to the right. Oh, buddy, me don't give a schneid. And just head through the door once more. Now, we can't actually do the swap in front of him, so we need to grab the pebbles, use it on the catapult there on the left-hand side next to the mustachioed-looking guns. All good. That's going to smash a window. Dude's going to go and get the rest of his head shaved. We're all happy. Then, of course, what we can do in a river tree, use the gun and then use it with the other gun. That is going to get us the real gun and an achievement as well, the old switcheroo. Finally. Very good. And I don't feel it easy. When the game gets tough, the game gets tougher. So, uh, it does look like a good spot here, as it were. Alright, so from here, what we're going to do is um, we're going to uh, go to the right. Sorry, this is the top right. So I thought we were going left a minute there. So back to the music store area. We are going to go... Um, so in the alleyway to come to this new area, this sort of circus area, and then interact with the photo booth. So after he goes, oh yeah, baby, yeah, take those beautiful pictures. There is going to be, you need to click on the, what's called posters. Or oh, uh, there it is, just outside the photo booth in order to pick up a couple of uh, pictures. So, wow, they look good. Fantastic. Right, a couple of things we're going to do with these posters as well. You need to grab the stamp, so make sure to grab the stamp and then use it on the double picture, which is called Private Willy. <laughs> 
That's funny, because willy is private parts. Uh, so yeah, use the stamp on the double poster there, the private willy, and then use the scissors on the single poster, which is called the willy poster. Oi, who's got this, who's got this picture of a willy? Stop sending it to other females, it's not good, they don't like it. So, go through the clown mouth into this little circus area. A couple of things we're going to grab, and an achievement we're going to get as well. So grab the tongs, and there is a shiny thing just on the roof of this sort of cart in the middle of the screen right here. So make sure to grab that. It's called shiny object, by the way. And now she blows. Mm, I want to know what the shiny object is. Is it worth selling? I need some money. Uh, no, it doesn't look that good. It actually looks like a thing for the piano. Right, okay. Next, we're going to grab the mystical hammer, and we're going to use it on the worn-out attraction in the middle, which, of course, is the hammer and hammery hammer hams. So, again, just use that, and then what's going to happen is ker -ching! It's not going to go very far, but it is going to get us another achievement as well. So, we do not have the power. We do not have the mighty Thor inside of us. But being Willy Morgan, we can get inside a Thor, right? <laughs> so there's the achievement anyway. It might take a couple of seconds to pop, but the challenge should pop. We're going to grab the tuning fork is how to actually complete this puzzle. So use the tuning fork on the worn out attraction. Ding! Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch old witch, the Willy witch. And we're going to get a prize. So interact with the prize. There it is, great, disgusting looking bear. And we're going to get a letter from it as well. Uh, which means we don't actually need the bear, so shame. The very better at his I don't need this. <clears throat> and this is this for this area. So we're just gonna go into the old Bone Town map. Now she blows, and we're gonna go to the library. Library? Now for some reason, if the, um, because it can get a bit weird and you can't actually go down. If you go up too far, you can't go down. Just press the B button to back out and then go back into your library again. So come into this area and then head down the right to where it says museum again. And then this time we are going to go into the right where we found the hidden treasure 02 earlier. But we're going right here and we're going to pick up this book. Uh, again, press the X button and then the A button. One of them will probably work, <laughs> usually work. And we get a couple of stickers for our trouble. Tom Raleigh. That's, uh, that's a great name, Tom. Time of the month. That's period for women. Right, so use the Tom Raleigh stickers on the private Willy poster. It could be a good idea. Well, you're damn right, buddy. It's a fantastic idea. Right, so what you need to do now is um, you can interact with the envelope, and then this weird, suspicious dude is going to eventually turn around. There he goes. Robbing your stuff, mate, because you're off your head. There's a bunch of mannequins and stuff here. Anyway, use the um, pirate willy poster. Yeah, that'll be the one. The sort of double-looking poster. Pirate willy, use that on the suspicious character. Interesting. I know that. Um, as... Oh. And this... Tom Sin... Now, for this dialogue option, just choose the top one. He then moved west, becoming very famous. Again, not sure if you can pick anyone and it makes no difference, but either way, our suspicious character turns around and carries on doing suspiciously things. But that's enough to, for, in order for us to grab the envelope anyway, so we're all good there. So all we need to do now is head out of here. What did Tom Raleigh leave? Oh, he left... Uh, I thought he left a wallet with loads of money inside, but as it turns out, it was just a piece of poper. Right, you can't skip any dialogue or cutscene here, so just enjoy for the mo. Mo, mo, mo. It's me. Bob is keeping an eye on the young Morgan. It looks like he's snooping around Bone Town, but we still don't know the reason. He's either particularly good or he has nothing to hide. I don't trust him. It's strange that Henry's son shows up again in town after all these years. Continue with the surveillance. Sooner or later, he'll make a wrong move. Okay, boss. I'll keep you posted. Good. I'm close this time, and another Morgan won't stop me. So, with that one done, we can just head out of this area now. So, um, well, what's that? Hey, boss, it's me. Did you get those nitpicks I sent? Uh, head to the left here to go into the actual sort of restauranty bit. 
And press the X button on the tablecloth. That is for examining the tablecloth. That's another missable achievement, which is very easily missed. So X on the tablecloth for the traces of El Polo Diablo. Uh, so you can interact with the glass case if you want. That is exactly what we're trying to go for, though. So you now need to go and speak to the guy who looks like the chef of Ratatouille. As an old person, anyway. Fine. Are you abs? He was. D ah. D oh, uh, d but surely. I don't. What's it seem? Key. It's in the first. Wait. Do you mean abs? How can you? That'll. What test? The men only. Along. Very at the. But we're. Can the. Ch can. Sure. Will. Can you repeat? Sure. Will. Can, sure. Will be. Thanks. Thanks. So, I think dude with no customers is actually off his head. So, what we need to do is press the A button here on the table. And we're going to take a little seat. Don't know if I want any rats for my food just yet. But we need to get the fake ice from your inventory and use it on our willy. So, what the uh, chef's going to do, we can press the A button now on the chef or the restaurateur. And he's going to come and have a look at you, willy. And he's going to see there's a pair of fake eyes on it and be like... I'm scaroused. What is this? I, I actually don't know what's happened. But what he's going to do is give us a key at the end of it. So, all's well that ends well. Good. I don't need these. So, from here then, we need to use the key to the glass case on the padlock. And that's going to get us the toughest fortune cookie on planet Earth. Bro, didn't you know electric and uh, gas have gone up now? You might as well turn your fan off now. Save some of that electricity, mate. Uh, use the Bone Town map there to go to the blacksmith and the armor again. There was a little edit, as you've probably just seen. But we need to go to the blacksmith and armor and into the blacksmith's area where the horse is. So we're going to use the fortune cookie on the anvil, which is the um, big thing right in front of us. And then use the mystical hammer on the anvil. That's actually going to get us another missable achievement. And fair play, Big Willy there can actually lift it up himself. Oh, that's impressive for a Willy. Uh, but that will get us the achievement. It will also get us a broken fortune cookie as well. So, comes in mega handy. Oh, yeah, it does give us the achievement. I thought it didn't there. But dream or reality, that's what we get. So, from here then, what we can do is uh, we're going to use the Bone Town map to go back to town. Uh, no, we're going to go to the um, amusement park, sorry. So back to the amusement park, all the way at the top there, to the amusement park, head back out on yourself, and then head up to come to this sort of little lighthouse area. So what we need to do then, um, we need to use the fortune cookie then with the seagull. I can't take. I mean, you could just, you know, throw it a chip and then that would have done very easier because seagulls are little monkeys for chips, even though they're seagulls for chips. Anyway, give him the fortune cookie anyway, and eventually he's going to be all like, Kaka, I'm off, motherfucker. doll. I want to see what's in your nest, motherflipper doll. And that actually gives us five cents. So he wasn't resting an egg, he was resting on a five cent piece. Grande, right, back to, um, we're going to go, no, in fact, this is what I mean by... When you go up, you can't actually go back down. Ah, look. Sorry, I just realized where it says, Welcome to Bone Town when at the map. The lighthouse is in the middle, and the lighthouse looks like a wiener. <laughs> anyway, if that does happen, press the B button to back out and go back into the map to go to the drugstore this time. And we're going to use the coin on the jelly bean dispenser now. Get ourselves a cheeky little uh, couple of uh, winky winky winks. Jelly beans, that's literally all we're getting. Perfect. A jelly bean. And when we've grabbed that, we're going back into the Bone Town map and head into the blacksmith slash armory once more. And then we're going to go into the blacksmith's area once again. I think this is the last time that we're actually going to do this now. So, use the candy with the horse. And the horse is going to step forward. Put it inside. Inside where? Better put it inside yourself. There, horses love eating sweets out of things that are inside it. Use the scissors anyway with the. Uh, 
I've lost all plot now. Uh, with the tail, so use the scissors with the tail. And that gets us, funnily enough, a bit of horse here. But you want to do it from the top, because it's all, you know, brown and sticky there at the bottom of the horse tail. So, just a quick word of warning for you. But we do have the horse is tail, or horse... Horse hair. We're going to use that with the hairless bow. So a little bit of a uh, little bit of combining in my life. Got a bit of horse hair on a bow. Um, so we're going to use the library letter. It's just to see what you've done. Um, there's six quests I think there was to do. We've done four of them, so we can head to the musical instruments store now, uh, and basically finish this particular puzzle anyway. So you don't have to speak to Hippie Steve. We can just go up. And into this area. So the first thing we're doing is use the roll with engravings on the hole on the piano. And that's what that's going to do is actually open up a little compartment. Or slightly open up a little compartment for us to the left of the piano. What was that? There was a hideout in the wall. The open... From here, grab the tuning fork. Eventually. Grab the tuning fork. And then just use that with the triangle. And lastly, but not leastly, use the bow cello. Again, the, the uh, secret compartment's just opened up a little bit more. So use the bow with the horse hair on it and use that with the cello. And then we can actually interact with the newly opened hole just with the compartments opening up. That noise again. Finally, the op I don't need... Perfect. I can get my hand through. For some reason, I thought we went through it, but as it turns out, no, we just get another little piece of paper, uh, which is exactly what we need. But we are done with this area, so what we can do is go to the Bone Town map again. Head through there, and then we are going to, once again, the um, church. So the top right-hand corner, we're off to the church this time. So, what we need to do, use the flask with the engine just to the left of us on the pitching machine. So make sure you need to use that on the, the flask on the engine. And then press the A button once on the pitching machine. And that's going to... Well, it's not quite going to work. What we need to do is distract the uh, vicar, old Reverend Lovejoy right here. Um, so, just choose the third option here. Father, was it you who screamed? Oh, yes, there was a little boy in my altar, but <laughs> don't worry, you won't say a word. <laughs> of course, I assume not all churches are like that, but TV rots your brain with it. Um, so, uh, that's how all priests are from now on, apparently. Oh, just ignore the little boy under the floorboards there. <laughs> You'll be okay, my son. <laughs> so, when we get the sign, we can actually just head out. We are going to speak to the blacksmith, and all we're going to speak to the blacksmith is uh, help him on a mission from God, can we borrow your tools? And then we can just say thanks and goodbye. Bye. Bye. Be sure. As always. So then that gives us the multi purpose tool, so we can go into our inventory, use the multi purpose tool on the broken sign. And, well, apparently that works wondery. Wonder on the Wondery app. Uh, that does work wonder. So what we can do is use the sign with the hole just to the right of the picket. Or the picket machine, or the pitch-in machine, sorry. So use the sign there, and then what we can do is press the A button once again on the pitching machine. And that should get a big smash through the window, and we can head back inside the church. Ah! Oops. I just followed the... Sounds like the little boy just escaped from the clutches of Reverend Lovejoy, which is good. We saved the day. So let's go. Let's, uh, you know, let's not go to prison. Right. Just choose what happened, the third option. And eventually he's going to knob it off on his way. Come back here, boy. I am yet to cleanse you fully. Oh, <laughs> gross. Anyway, pick up the glass, which was on the floor right there. It's going to come in handy later, because it's not actually glass, it's a piece of paper. Which is going to really come in handy later. Alright, um, we are going to use the Bone Town map now, and we are going to head to the library. For one more time in the library. So, heading on through, 
into the library. Library. I wonder how many people get annoyed when I say library, not library. <laughs> into the library. Use the multi-purpose tool there on the crate. It works. I have the crate there, of course, on the right-hand side. I'm going to open that up. Uh, we need to now use the nail file. I accidentally got a bit ahead of myself right there. We now need to use the nail file. There it is. And use that on the crate. Ooh, what are we going to get? By the way, we're about 14 minutes now coming up towards the end. So we are almost there. Almost. Small most. The physician looking like he's just had one too many to uh, get down his neck. Uh, or was he the little boy that is still running from the uh, Reverend Lovejoy after all these years? <laughs> uh, joy love. Right, so back downstairs, we are going to uh, go into our inventory, going into the Bone Town map, and we're heading to the drugstore slash pub. And that's exactly where we're going in, the drugstore. We're going to make sure he's okay. Uh, but we're actually going to give him the container with the flowers now. Maybe it'll make him stop eating for five minutes. Really? No, it's the root. Uh, it's the. Thank you. Better read. So that's the piece of paper we got then. We can head out of the drugstore now. We're going to take a little sneaky snoop at it. Steve Barnett. So, we need to go to his office to investigate. That's what we're doing. Off to Bone Town and off to Town Hall, which of course is at the very bottom. So if it does this weird, annoying thing again, just back out, go back into the old bone town, and heading to Town Hall at the bottom. And of course, we know what we need to do, head through the door. Steve, hippie Steve, where have you gone, mate? So now we can actually interact with, and then use, examine and interact with the globe. And that's actually going to uh, open up a trap door, which is probably why he didn't want us to touch it earlier. Sorry, Steve, we won't touch you again, mate. Right, so off we climb. It's into this, like, little secret office, trapdoor office area. And the first thing that we're going to be doing, is not a lot to do in this area, but we're going to grab the rope here from the top left of the cabinet. Because, of course, Steve always needs that, hanging like a noose, just in case someone discovers. Um, you don't have to interact with the bulletin boards. All we need to do is open up the window on the right-hand side. Uh, be, sort of being the only window, of course. And then what that's going to do, uh, we can now look at the diary on the desk. So, have a little look at the diary. Which is what uh, you normally hear on all dialogue and stuff like that. Uh, but that gives us the cartographer achievement. Now, to actually progress with the story, what you need to do is go into the diary. I think... Well, this is what happened for me anyway. I went over to the last page. Then I clicked the A button on the on this page. And then the whole thing decided to go on. Uh, the story progressed. If I press the B button, um, nothing would happen. So pressing the A button on the other page there for some reason seemed to work. So when we get out of here then, what we can do is use the rope on the window to get out of here. Get out of dodge, buddy boy. Good idea. See you soon. Time to go into the final stretch, the home stretch, baby. Right, onto the Bone Town map, we are heading up to the lighthouse. What suspiciously looks like the bone. Err. And then when we come up here, we can go all the way up to the top of the lighthouse. Um, we just can use the opening here on the lighthouse big wooden bit and we can use the matches inside of said uh, lighthouse we're gonna burn that up Flabba. man willy hasn't got a scratch on him which is good luckily we don't have to go to the doctors now use the control box now we have to get this um i mean it's this achievement story related anyway but what we need to do is use the left steering wheel uh, as soon as you see the arrow, there it is. So go all the way, not all the way over to the right, but just enough so there's like, you can just see sort of the crack. Yeah, <laughs> the crack. Then use the right side wheel over to the right and then put it up. And then you're going to eventually say bingo. And that's going to get us the coordinates wizard achievement and exactly where we need to go. So we found the exact spot on the map. But don't worry, you don't have to do that first time or anything. Uh, so it's all good. But what it does, it gets us in this mummy 
zombie type thing. So we need to go back to the graveyard. So again, we're going into Bone Town map. If you need to know where it is, this is the cemetery. So we're going into the Bone Town map eventually. <laughs> there it is. And we're heading to said cemetery. And it is the second one. Basically the one in the middle. You can probably just see the light shining off it there. That is where the X is. And we are, as we all know, we're coming to every pirate ever. X marks the spot. So use the ancient coin we've got in our inventory and use that with the skull. Where did I end up? Oh my gosh, oh my god. We have just found a secret entrance. So, uh, you don't actually have to interact with anything here. Secret is in the secret. And that's the achievement we've just unlocked. Uh, you can have a look at the... Um, what are basically magic mushrooms. Basically. They definitely look like magic mushrooms anyway. But we don't need to worry about that. We can just head all the way to the right until another cutscene appears. It can't be. The hull I read the hist this is it. Oh my god, it's a long lost ship. So examine the adventure galley and then try heading up on the stepladder for another little unskippable cutscene bit. Who dares? But Who dares? Who's talk are you a How dare old It can't. I can't. My dad? Dad. Dad. I have no sons. My name is only with some people. I. Who are you? Dad. Don't be. Are you? Don't you reckon? What tone is this? What happened? Don't you. If it wasn't for the inst button. Remember more. And now. I. The co. I don't. Dad. I or my. It's a. You have to. Ask the. I'm going. I have to. What's happening? How could Dad still- I better get on the game. So as it turns out, our dad has just been on this pirate ship for the last 10 years, eating magic mushrooms to survive or something. Because he doesn't know who the hell he is, which is hilarious. But we're heading up the top. And a couple of things we're going to grab here. We're going to examine the doll right here. So press the X button on this voodoo doll. That's going to get us the achievement called Night Shift. And there it is. And then after that, we can interact with the books. So again, just press the A button on the books. Um, uh, uh, press the A button here on the clothes as well to get some pirate clothes. And the three-cornered hat as well. Unwashed and unused for ten years. Somehow still going and not smelling like armpit. Right, interact with the crack. Now, what, all we have to do is just press the... Uh, I think we've got to examine um, sort of each book. There's two books just to the right of our dad. So examine both of those. The maps on the left, I think you have to interact with on it and examine as well. And the cup as well, or there's something else. Basically, four things. Just examine the four things. The books, the maps on the left-hand side. Oh, a, a dad. Yeah, that's who we're going for. Old ginger nuts right there. And then the maps as well. So the two books, our dad and the maps. That's what we're going for. As soon as we're all good, we can head to the right just to get out of this area. There it is. And then we can head out of here now. And what we're going to do is head and take a little look at the cannon. No, in fact, we're heading down. Sorry, downstairs of the cannon. Um, interact with the mannequin. Somehow squeeze that in such enough that we're going to put that in our little bag right there. Our little fanny pack. Lady garden pack. And then we can head back downstairs once more. So we're going to interact with the sword. That's the only thing that we're grabbing from here. The cannon and the door on the right we'll come back to a little later on. But for now, we're just interacting with the sword. So now we can head all the way back upstairs. And head all the way back up to the stairs again. Up to the sort of main ship area. You don't have to interact with the cannon yet. This is basically a whole load of nothing. So heading upstairs once more. There we go. Now what we need to do, get Jimbo the pirate and then actually sit him... From, so Jim of the Pirate, from your uh, from your inventory, and actually sit him and use him with the cannon so he has a little sit down. Now, th these dialogue options actually are important, so I will tell you exactly which ones to choose. After we knock on the door, our magic mushroom-infused papa is going to have a little look. Now, you need to choose the option, I need the key to access the hold. And he's going to ask us some questions. So, just choose Jimbo, which is the fourth option. 
Second question. Oh. And then choose uh, Life on the Seas by Kid. Life on the Seas. Third and last question. And then choose, once again, the bottom option. <laughs> Eight. Man, dude has really lost it. Um, so, yeah. Don't know what's happened to him for the last ten years. It is within the story, but, you know, we smashed through it. So, I'd highly advise just having a little look. Uh, so we'll just say sorry, Captain. I'll leave you to your uh, poop deck business. And then what we can do is inter get our clothes out of the inventory, use them with Jimbo the pirate. And then he's going to go over to the Simpsons' house with Laura the babysitter and say, Hey, baby, my shirt is chafing me. And then Moe's going to come out with a knife and th uh, threaten him and stuff. But, uh, well, you've all seen the Simpsons episode. Use the hat and the sword as well with Jimbo the chafing pirate. And that should be that. We can now head downstairs and downstairs again. One more item that we actually need to grab. We're going to use the key that our papa gave us into the key. Uh, into the cargo hold, sorry. So the key into the cargo hold. There's a whole bunch of treasure and doubloons. Don't drop them. Wink, wink. Um, but there is a bunch of treasure. But the only thing that we actually need is the mask on the right hand side. So for some reason... Unless they're all fake. It's probably all fake treasure, isn't it? But, you know, you chuck a whole load in your fanny pack. You fit a mannequin and a bike in this. Surely you can fit, like, ten grand's worth of treasure in you. Evidently not. So we just grabbed the mask. We're now going to head up. And we're going to head up again. We are literally onto the last couple of minutes now. Um, use the mask on Jimbo the pirate. And then we're going to speak to our old daddings once more. And the you need to choose the... Um, one from bottom option. So I accidentally say goodbye. We don't need to say goodbye. Say the captain... Uh, God damn it, you can't actually see it because the achievement, we just unlocked the achievement. So, speak to him again. Yeah, but it's the one just above the goodbye is what we need to say. Captain, there's Morgan on the bridge. And then this whole other cutscene, Unskippable, is going to fight and blah, blah, blah. So, we'll just come back in a sec. Well, Dad, it's for your betrayal. So since Dad's a little distracted, we're going to come into his quarters and grab the chalice. So what he does is actually grab the logbook and the chalice as well. Um, since he's weirdly distracted. Although not a bad not a bad place to live for ten years, but if you're only eating magic mushrooms, then well that's not fantastic, is it? So another bit of unskippable dialogue right here. Don't show your face again. Look who's back. How did you- It wasn't- I waited- Henry. In the end. Oh, dear. Who are you? Henry. It's me. Dad. Blackbeard. Henry. You- I understand, Henry. I'm gone. We're so, as they're just fighting then, so as they're just having a little fight, we're actually going to head back downstairs. So you should be able to go downstairs now. Head downstairs once again. And then finally, what we're going to do then is go into our inventory. And use the chalice on the cannon. And how do you get a cannon to start? Well, with a little bit of fire, of course. So use the match on it as well. Or unless, I think it does that automatically, actually. Slams that out. Job's done. Your nan's your uncle. What, what part of the world you're from, I don't know. But that is done. After you go up on deck, of course. So head back up on deck. And that is good. You, 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 like I said, you, 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 your nan's your uncle, your Steve's your hippie, whatever the saying goes. Job's done. Hit a chance this time. We'll see. I admit it. You defeated me, Henry. A victory over a man who was once a friend has no value for me. Cap the cap the edge. Hurry. Not. For, I've never been. Let's. Yes. Hen. Steve, there's no dad. You. Hen. Steve. Farewell. Dad. Okay. Dad. Willie. Ten years, Dad. Ten years. So... Yes, but... I sensed that something was wrong when I realized I hid my beat. You are a Morgan. I hope that in ten years, Steve's... I decided that, so I sent... I read Steve's diary. A stroke of luck. I felt I wanted to find a way to get back to the surf. The last thing I remember... Dad, let's go back. Plus, we have to find... Elizabeth. Ready to leave? Hometown is not a bad town. Remember, speaking of, here it is. 
So that is the end of that then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you really enjoyed the guide as well. And I hope that it helped. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Um, yeah, big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon as well. You guys and gals are honest to God legends. And that'll be that then, guys and gals. So I shall see you in the next one. And by the way, what you're going to see is me... You should have all the achievements unlocked, but I actually ended up missing the first two in Willy's room. So if he did miss any, I just went back and done that. That is why he did a little edit and stuff earlier, but ah, you're all good. But anyway, thanks again, guys and gals. I'll see you in the next one. Big love.